is Ashley from Young Outdoors. Uh, just doing a couple things outside today. Um, I just came back yesterday from the Toronto Outdoor Adventure Show and what a blast. Uh, there's a couple things I want to talk about. Um, I got my axe that I've been looking for, the Grandpa's Brooks uh, Small Forest Axe. I know I talked about that a couple times in, the, in my clips, in my videos, and uh, I finally got to do it. Uh, really happy about it. I also met this guy named Maximilian. He has a company called uh, Woodsman Finest and he does all kinds of uh, woodcraft. He makes paddles, he makes kooksas, he makes bowls, spoons, uh, he also makes ferro rods, uh, handles for knives. So I bought a ferro rod from him and it's something special. Uh, this is the ferro rod I got. Really cool. It's got a nice long lanyard uh, with a toggle on it. Uh, the toggle is actually made of deer antler. Um, got a nice leather lanyard on it. Uh, this is apple wood that he used um, as the handle. Uh, this thing throws a spark. It's really, really good. And uh, I actually wanted to do a comparison between this and the uh, light my fire one that I used before. This just blows it away. This is the Light My Fire Fire Steel that I've been using for about four years. Um, I got it in 2012 and I thought this was just the greatest thing. It was the first time I ever uh, made a fire without a match or a lighter. Um, so it did me well over the years, but I, know I, needed, uh, I knew I needed something bigger, something better. Um, it's just so small. It doesn't put off a very large spark. Just enough to get going. Um, in comparison to the one I got from Woodsman's Finest, you can see diameter wise, length wise, all around it, this is way better and it shoots a way better spark. Now only thing, only difference between the two is this one has a little, uh, little scraper to get your spark going. You don't really need this. Uh, you don't really need that with this. Uh, you just need to use your knife. Uh, as long as you got a 90 degree spine on your knife, you can shoot a nice big spark off of it. Uh, grab my knife so I can show you guys the sparks you can get off of this thing. A little harder to see in the daylight, but it's a big difference compared to the little one that I've got. I know it's uh, it's really bright out today, so I'm hoping you guys are going to be able to see this. But anyways, when I was out today, I grabbed some of this from the inside of uh, a chunk of bark. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use it for starting my fire. I'm not really going to start a fire today, I just wanted to uh, try out the new ferro rod. I'm going to ruffle this up with my hands. fibrous. Turn it over on itself. There we go. That's how we do that. And you would just add on more if you wanted to make fire. Not making a fire today, obviously, but I just wanted to get the new, uh, new ferro rod going.
not in that one. I'm talking about. Anyways, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. I wanted to talk about the axe, I wanted to talk about the fire steel, uh, the outdoor show, like I was saying, was great. Um, met some uh, people from social media that I've been in contact with and uh, finally got to put a face to the name, uh, which was really cool. Also got to get some ideas for where I want to go on my next canoe trips. Um, was checking out a uh, presentation on the Spanish River. Uh, obviously, I've been up to Tamagami before, but I wanted to check that out again. Uh, maybe with the canoe this time. We only went uh, backpacking when we went. Anyways, uh, that's it for today. Just wanted to make it short and sweet, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and stay young and get outdoors. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.